Good morning. Oh, I'm a bit off to one side. Hang on, let's just. There you go. <laughs> uh, good morning. It is 10 07 a.m. on Saturday, the 3rd of August, and it is time for Today in My Bujo. Hi! So, how are you? Look who's come to join me. So yesterday I did oh, my weights and my night care. Okay. It was very, very hard doing my weights before I went to sleep. Um, I don't think I've done the about today bit yet. I'll do that in a sec. I uh, didn't craft. Yeah, right, so that's that job jobbed. As you can see, we have a new tab. Did that one out of cardstock. So we'll see how well it holds up. I also, on this one, I just used um, double-sided tape along the bit where it actually stuck to the paper. I didn't use tape on this bit. This one, I used a glue stick and like glued the whole thing so it's folded over and stuck to itself. So it'd be interesting to see how they hold up. I mean, I'm expecting this one to hold up better, obviously, because it's card, but you know, yeah and things isn't it we will see and i did my moods look there we go finally so we've got happy uh rather sort of baffled by it all laughing i suppose that's what in love i love it you know good sleepy sad crying feeling rather sick and angry and then i've graduated uh my pain in color from very very bad through to no pain so <coughs> pardon me <laughs> Thursday was very bad as you know I was in quite a lot of pain yesterday was a smidgen better um, today is probably going to be about the same because yeah I, I hurt right I did not write in my steps so I need to do that and write down what yesterday's steps were Yeah, I literally got green and then I didn't move again for the rest of the day because it was like, that hurts. But, you know, I don't care. It's all good, isn't it? It's, as long as I can get get to green, I'm quite, I'm quite happy, really. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll push for it today because A, I'm not doing an official challenge. I'm doing an in-house challenge at the weekends, just, just my team. Um, we don't get any points for it. But yeah, I might just sort of take the weekend to rest a little bit. I need to go and buy a postcard or two so that I can do that post crossings <coughs> um, thingy. 24,401 steps, which was 9.65 miles. And then yesterday was 12,597 steps, which is 5.13 miles. Awesome! I, just, I love that baby boy. <laughs> superhero washi. I think it's cute. Oh, yes. Um, no, I did. I did. I wrote lunch. So, yeah. And then yesterday, what did I do in the way of cleaning up? basically did the last four didn't I okay um, as you can see I did all the numbers but I didn't write all the chores I'm getting there so you but surely I'm getting there yeah I can see where where I haven't stuck this it's already sort of fraying slightly I still need to set up week 32 I need to defrost some snake food uh -huh. I need to write to Wendy and I need to post some napkins so what I need to do today is right i bought snake food yesterday i went to pan but they didn't have what i wanted so i need to buy some postcards post napkins i'm seriously seriously considering like where this is now at the moment such a small book swapping and carrying that one around with me but I don't want it to get like battered in my bag 
So, right. Then we skip forward to the journal. I also did a little mandala last night. Um, and I used my um, gelatos to do that. So most of you seemed to think journaling on this side um, was the better idea. I think somebody else said maybe do a little caption up here about you know what we did. I don't I don't know. I'm still like really ah uh, because I think if I, I'm worried that if I write it, I'm gonna fuck it up and then I'm gonna hate it because I'm so so proud of this. <sighs> I don't know. Right, let's change the Ben while I sit and wonder about life oh and for the record my back is still agony okay weather it's not very pleasant i was hoping to go to town again today but um it's it, i've actually got jeans on it's quite chilly and i've got socks on because my feet are cold so yeah it's does it looks like it might rain actually so let's just yeah see totally overcast a baby should braid oh dear me excuse me right so i mean i can't even see any blue sky it's all gray out there but it's still quite warm it's 21 degrees with a low of 14 so yeah nuts Oh five, thirty-three, and eight forty-seven. Suppose I could drive to town, but I always feel really guilty doing that. You know, because it's within walking distance, and it's sort of like, well, it's healthy for us to walk. It's good for us to walk. You know, it will burn off some of Daryl's energy. It'll help keep me moving a little bit at the moment which you know I kind of need to do otherwise I seize up today I have put on day face cream and a smidgen of makeup it might only be a smidgen but it's still there it still counts hmm, what a lovely red card for today this is the uh, spellcasters tarot by Melanie Marquis I think you guys probably only seen this one once love this bag I got this bag from somebody on on Etsy I can't remember what her name was something weird like divine noctiva or something you know something I don't know how to pronounce it and um, yeah she makes these bags in, in my personal opinion they're not brilliantly made um, but you know I love the material I'd love to learn how to make bags and yeah I can't remember what it was I didn't like about it when I got it uh, she didn't hide the seams for a start I, I don't know it just looked a bit messy so yeah right we need a colour let's do let's do that one that is six six five but then what the fuck do i know I, I don't sew you know i've got a sewing machine in fact i've got two yeah i have two sewing machines used to only have the one and um i only used it a few times so i'm quite frankly i'm, I'm nervous of them i don't don't you know i'm, I'm not very good at them and I've made a couple of things on them um, and then it, it didn't get used for quite a few years and I took it in to get it serviced a couple of years ago because I thought yeah I want, you know, I want to learn how to fucking use this and I knew that I was eventually going to have a craft room I was going to sort it all out and I took it in to get it serviced and then I brought it home and it got put into what used to be the junk room along with all the other stuff um, for you know a couple more years and then we arranged all the craft rooms and all that lot and I brought it into here and put it away all neatly and all that lot uh, noticed that the power cable was missing and then um, my sister-in-law contacted me and said can I please use it so I said yeah, yeah sure so she came around and um, when we turned the wheel on the side the you know the bit that goes up and down like that 
well that wasn't coming all the way up and I said then I said that's not supposed to be like that and she said no it's not and the machine wouldn't work properly and we you know she she said she'll have a look at it at some point but she's so busy um so I was like great you know I paid 80 pounds to have that fucker serviced and now it's broken I can't say whether it happened in the shop or not or whether it's happened you know during the moving of all the rooms around so then I phoned my mum up and said can I borrow your sewing machine so she said yeah yeah sure you know because uh, she doesn't use hers anymore she's losing her eyesight so you know so I went down and, and or I got my son to bring hers up uh, which is a slightly newer model how much is that that was the card I glanced at um and um it, it's sitting over there waiting <laughs> and I'm like mm, I took the cover off yesterday so I'm, I'm, I'm getting there I'm getting there okay so let's do blue okay so um she's on some kind of journey she looks quite burdened down doesn't she she's carrying something it looks hard she looks worn out she looks sad she's obviously got this guy helping her i see this that it's 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 about a passage through a difficult time in 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 your life um sometimes you've got to let go or move on from um past events to not hold to grief but to use that experience not learn from it as such but every experience that you you experience every event that you experience um shapes you how you react to it how you learn from it how you evolve from it everything you do shapes you and i think this is saying to me you know that there are people out there that you know can help there are people out there that are willing to go the distance with you or whatever um you're not on your own but it's is is you've got to move forward if that makes sense i hope that makes sense it will be when i fix it okay it's in a shit mood today Some days when I just <laughs> okay. So, what was sleep like? Sleep was a little bit more comfortable than last night, uh, than the night before. Um, let's see, half past twelve until about eight o'clock. I was awake for about an hour at about half five so yeah a bit better I slept a bit better oh, god I hurt this morning again though I have so far done the oops the laundry right so I guess I'll go and get on with my day and uh, I will be back for the evening edition I hope you have a good day guys see you tonight